European workers are being strongly affected by the economic recession. Young workers are hit hardest by this situation. One in five of all young Europeans under 25 are without work. While the economic crisis has a profound effect on workers' lives, the current youth unemployment has devastating effects on a whole generation. E la crisi sta eh, mettendo in difficoltà i giovani che non riescono a entrare nel mondo del lavoro e non riescono a entrarci con pieni diritti, con autonomia di reddito e questo avviene in tutta l'Europa. If we do not solve the problem, to my mind can cause a tremendous social political challenge because if these millions of young people in the southern countries are not going to find jobs, what will they do? The commerce sector can contribute to economic recovery and has real potentials regarding employment creation. The combined retail and wholesale sectors represent the second largest employer in the European Union, employing 13% of the European labour force. This sector has traditionally been one where young people can gain access to the labour market. The wholesale sector and international trade sector, as you kind of mentioned, is highly competitive, so we need young people with ideas. Through a joint project funded by the European Commission, Uni Europa Commerce and Eurocommerce have launched a first social dialogue initiative targeted at youth employment. The main objective was to talk about what problems young people have and uh, what kind of challenges they are facing and what type of solution can be found to uh, address uh, the situation of youth unemployment, specifically in the commerce sector. There will always be differences. Uh, but we have to overcome those differences and have an honest reflection of the situation we're in now regards youth unemployment uh, and find alternatives and solutions uh, to overcome this problem. Both the employers and the trade unions have the same interests to get the young people into the jobs that is essential. Social partners identified three topics to analyse the different problems faced by youth today. Recruitment, employment and an intergenerational approach. Siamo sostanzialmente d'accordo sul problema. È un problema di eh, attrattività del settore, è un problema per di rendere, eh, come dire, piacevole lavorare in questo settore. Donc voilà, donc c'est vraiment la question, je pense, centrale, c'est de savoir comment stabiliser l'emploi et comment un peu négocier la flexibilité et, euh, et pour pas que ce soit trop important et qu'à partir du moment où les, les jeunes travailleurs commencent à avoir une vie de famille, quittent simplement le secteur parce que c'est plus possible de faire avec une vie de famille. Best practices with regard to these issues were also discussed in order to find possible solutions and generate concrete policy measures to tackle youth unemployment. One of the employment schemes in Ireland that's working well is the apprenticeship system. People should be able to take part in a dual uh, system of vocational education where they not only benefit from the work experience, but they also take part in the practical elements of everyday life in the, in the trade. We have specific uh, schools for developing skills for uh, young people, which uh, uh, raises their employability and uh, makes it possible for young people trained in those kinds of schools to have employability rates of over 90%, for example, for some specific uh, skills profiles. In these two days, we have heard a lot um, talking about the recognition of the skills acquired in the workplace. For example, uh, if you have a salesperson and you go to another company, then your skills as a salesperson will be recognized also when you move from one company to another. So this knowledge and these skills is not lost. No, on the contrary, it will be recognized. The joint effort allowed social partners to address specific recommendations to the European Commission and to the European Parliament. Social dialogue has a huge value because it's the main uh, process for us to fulfill our role and get uh, to the governments, push them to uh, see what's really going on on the fields and what kinds of solutions should be implemented for um, making things better and in particular for solving problems that we have already identified. This is a long-term problem, a long-term debate that we have to continue. All the recommendations and all the uh, papers that we agree at European level, they uh, have a meaning only if they're translated in a national level and they're implemented by social partners in national policies. This is the only way that we can have for a discussion at European level to have a real impact on the uh, national level and on the daily life of workers and companies. Thank you.